Welcome to today's forensics lesson. Today's topic is lab safety. Specifically, we're going to be focused on the lab safety symbols that we might see on a lab sheet this year in forensics. And we're going to be discussing the rules and procedures that accompany these symbols. Now, we're going to be doing a ton of labs this year, so it is very important that we're all on the same page with regards to lab safety. So we're going to go through just a few of the safety symbols that we might see this year and how they apply to the labs that we're going to be doing. So the first safety symbol that you might see is this Erlenmeyer flask symbol. This is our glassware safety symbol. It just means that we're going to be using something that's made of glass. This could be a test tube. It could be a beaker a glass stir rod, or like you see in the picture, an Erlenmeyer flask. So a couple of rules of thumb. When we're using glassware, we always want to inspect the glassware prior to use. If anything is chipped or broken, you don't want to use it. So if you notice something is just not right about the glassware that you're using, or if it happens to break during the lab, you need to report that to the teacher immediately. Uh, you never want to heat glassware that's not thoroughly dried. Um, sometimes if you put wet glassware on something that's hot, like a hot plate, the glassware will actually move. And you can imagine if that glassware is filled with a boiling liquid or a really hot liquid, that could become a problem. Um, also, glass tends to shatter when it's wet and then it's introduced to something um, with the opposite temperature. So if you have cold glassware and then it's suddenly introduced to something with um, that's hot, like a hot plate or a Bunsen burner, that glass will shatter. And again, that's a problem. So make sure that you don't use wet glassware um, when you are about to heat it. Use heat resistant gloves to pick up any hot glassware. Um, not This is not restrictive to heat resistant gloves. There are going to be times where we are going to want to use tongs or even test tube clamps to transport hot glassware, but you definitely want to be mindful of glassware when it is hot. You're going to want to use some sort of protection for your hands. Make sure that you always clean your glassware thoroughly before you put it away. And that's a good practice anytime you are finishing a lab. Just make sure that you clean everything and you wash everything according to your teacher's suggestions. Make sure that you are wearing safety goggles anytime you use any sort of glassware in the lab. The next two symbols that we might see this year are the fire safety symbol and the heat safety symbol. So in the upper right hand corner of your screen at the top you see the open flame. Uh, the open flame symbol is your fire safety symbol. That means you're going to be working with an open flame. So this could be a Bunsen burner, it could be a candle, um, but something that's going to actually produce a flame or a fire. Uh, at the bottom, the bottom symbol of the oven mitt, this is just our heat safety symbol. This does not necessarily mean that we're going to have an open flame, but it does mean that something is going to heat up or something is going to be hot in the lab. And so you just need to make sure that you use precautions when you see either of these symbols. So with both of these symbols, you're also going to see the safety goggle symbol that's going to remind you that you need to wear safety goggles. Anytime you're working with heat or fire, you're going to want to wear safety goggles. Don't heat anything unless you're instructed to do so. So each time you have to do a lab, your teacher will provide you with instructions for that lab, both written and oral instructions. So make sure you take the time to listen and read, and unless something is uh, specifically outlined for you to heat, just make sure that you don't do that. Never heat anything with a closed container. You can imagine that the pressure could build in something that is closed or confined, and that could create a problem. Uh, don't reach across an open flame. So there are a couple labs that I'm thinking of where we have open flames. When we get to fibers, there's a lab where we We'll light a tea light candle. We'll have an open flame. Also, there's an unknown substances lab that I like to do in forensics where we have the Bunsen burners going. Um, and then when we get to arson, there's an arson project where we will have an open flame. So all three of these labs, anytime you have the flame, just be mindful that there's a flame there. You never want to reach or pass anything across an open flame. If you have to handle hot objects or move them or transport them, again, I mentioned this earlier, but you're going to make sure that you use something that protects your hands, so clamps, tongs, or heat-resistant gloves. Uh, it's good to 
a good practice to always have a clean work area anytime you're in the lab, but definitely when you are working with heat or fire. You're also going to need to know the location of your fire extinguisher and fire blanket, and so your classroom teacher is going to show you how to properly use those two pieces of equipment and then where they're located. Now the skull and crossbones symbol, this is our chemical safety symbol, and you're going to see this anytime you are working with a chemical. Now this does not necessarily mean the chemical is poisonous or is toxic, but you are to treat it as such. So remember, even in, in the science classroom, even water is considered to be a chemical. Um, we just try to treat everything as if it is dangerous. So you'll see the skull and crossbones with just about every lab uh, in forensics. If you're ever asked to observe the smell of a chemical or the smell of something in the lab, a good practice is you just never smell the chemical directly. You always want to waft. So you'll just kind of um, move the flames towards your nose or move the odor towards your nose with a wafting motion. That's a wave of the hand so that it you're not smelling it directly. You're just kind of moving the odor towards your nose. Never mix chemicals unless you're instructed to do so. And again, this will be outlined in your lab instructions. Never touch or taste chemicals unless instructed to do so. Uh, it's a good practice to make sure that all lids are kept closed. So if you're asked to remove something from a bottle or a container and pour it or add it uh, and it has a lid, just make sure that you put the lid back on when your chemicals are not being used. Dispose of chemicals as instructed by your teacher. This one's a big one because you can't assume that chemicals can be um, poured down the sink, poured down the drain, or placed in the trash can. So pay attention to how you're supposed to dispose of the different lab components when you do these labs. If you get any sort of chemical on your skin, rinse it off immediately and then notify your teacher pretty quickly. Um, this is anything that happens in the lab, like if you get a chemical on you, uh, on your skin or on your eyes, or if you get cut or there's something that happens during the lab, uh, don't be afraid to tell your teacher. Even if you think you're going to get in trouble, um, always tell your teacher because there's a bunch of documentation that we teachers have to do um, with regards to things that happen in the lab. So just make sure that you let us know so that we can document it properly and make sure that you get um, the proper assistance and help that you might need. Make sure that you know the location of the shower and eye wash station. So I have both of these in my classroom and it's likely that your teacher has these in, in their classroom. So they will show you where those are located and then the proper use for those. Uh, the safety goggles or the safety glasses symbol is the eye and face safety. You're going to see this symbol paired with the glassware safety symbol, the fire safety symbol, and the heat safety symbol. Also the chemical safety symbol. So um, you're going to want to make sure that you use eye protection anytime you use chemicals, fire, heat, or glassware. When heating a test tube or bottle, just make sure that you always point it away from you pointed away from your classmates. Never heat anything um, where it could uh, like spurt into your eye or if it's definitely in a closed container you don't want anything to just the pressure to build and pop off into your eye. That could be very dangerous. So just make sure if for some reason you're heating a test tube or a bottle or really anything make sure that you're not standing over it. Um, we don't want anything to happen to your eyes. Um, there are several symbols that represent the sharp instrument safety symbol. This is the one that I chose for the lesson today, but it comes in many different forms. Basically, you just need to know that if you see this symbol, um, you're going to be working with something that is sharp and you just need to be careful. So handle sharp instruments with care. Make sure if you have to cut any sort of material that you always cut carefully and away from you if possible. And then accidents do happen. I can think of a number of times where we've had somebody that's been cut in the lab. So it's not your fault typically if you get cut, but you do need to make sure that you tell somebody. If you ever have to plug in any sort of um, electrical appliance into an outlet, you're going to want to make sure that you use electrical safety. Make sure that you don't plug more than two appliances in at any one outlet at a time. 
Uh, water and electricity, they don't mix very well. So never, ever touch an electrical appliance or outlet with wet hands. Uh, you can get quite a shock from that. Make sure that you keep liquids away from appliances and any outlets. Animal safety. So you're going to see the safety symbol um, at towards the end of the year. Anytime we have animals in the classroom that we might be touching, um, this includes specimens. So for us, this is going to be specimen safety. Uh, we're going to see this symbol. So don't cause pain or injury to an animal. Again, this this applies whether the animal is alive or dead. So do not perform inhumane stunts or actions with any animal specimen. Wash your hands thoroughly after handling animals or their cages. Again, this applies to specimens as well. Let's do a quick review of the symbol. So when you see this symbol, what does it stand for? Hopefully you said eye safety. So we're going to wear our safety goggles when we see this symbol. This is our animal safety symbol. Just make sure you use precautions when you are using animals or specimens. This is our electrical safety symbol. Just make sure that you're careful when you're using electrical appliances. What about this one? This is your sharp object or sharp instrument safety symbol. This is our heat safety symbol. This does not necessarily mean that you have to wear uh, heat resistant gloves. A lot of people think that since this symbol has the glove on it, that this means you have to wear some sort of hand protection or gloves. Not necessarily. Um, it just means that you use, need to use precautions because you are going to be dealing with something hot. This is our chemical safety symbol. And this is going to be our glassware safety symbol. All right, so to end this lesson, what I want you to do is just on a scratch sheet of paper, number one to eight. And then I want you to match the appropriate safety symbol term to its safety symbol. And this is where we're going to end our lesson today. And I'll see you in the next lesson.